everybody and namaste. My name is Wanda and you're watching Wonderful Yoga. Today I thought I'm gonna let you take part in my very personal morning yoga practice. So I actually always follow the intuitive signals of my body, how it likes to move. And especially in the morning, I really like to focus on rolling my neck, shoulders, opening my body, a little bit of back bend, stretching. So this video is a gentle morning yoga flow for all the beginners of you perfect but also advanced practitioners because it always feels good to feel good, right? So let's stretch out, let's start the day with a gentle flow. Okay guys, then let's start in a comfortable seating position, cross leg position, Shukasana. Maybe sit on a block if you have a block or just use a cushion. Put it under your bum and sit on the edge of the cushion or block, whatever you have, so that the knees can sink a little bit deeper and your hips are a little bit higher. So it's easier to lift up the spine. Pull out the cheeks right and left so you really can sit nice and tall on your sit bones. Take a moment here fully to land and lift up the spine all the way. Imagine like a chain that rolls up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way to the head and then tuck the chin a little bit in so that the back of the head is nice and long. You can also imagine somebody's pulling you up on an imaginary rope on the back of your head. Relax the hands on the thighs and then with the inhalation roll shoulders up to the ears, up, up, up and exhale through the mouth out. Yes, that feels good. Two more times like that. Inhale, roll up, and exhale. One more time. One more time, roll the shoulders up. And exhale. Very good. Relax hands. Shoulders, stay with that open chest we just created. Chin is a little bit tucked in and close the eyes. Relax your stomach, your inner organs and allow the sit bones to sink deeply into the ground. Relax face muscles and jaw. And take a moment here on your morning to fully arrive on your yoga mat. Become aware of the sounds around you. For me, it's here some, some roosters in Bali, some dogs barking, chickens motorcycles, maybe some cars passing by. Also become aware of your skin and feel. How does your skin feel? Maybe you feel heat or a little bit of coldness, maybe light wind breathe. And from the outside, draw your attention more and more inward. What's going on inside? Imagine your eyes turning inward. How do you feel this morning? What is present right now? Deep inhale and exhale, drop your shoulders a little bit more down. Then bring the hand in front of the heart and bow the head a little bit more towards your heart. Take a moment here and set your intention for this day. So how, how would you like to feel today? How would you like to start into the day? Maybe energetic, excited, full of energy, motivated, 
happy, relaxed, calm, clear. Set your personal intention now. How would you like to feel the day through? For example, for me personally, I have a lot to do today, so I want to maintain calmness for everything I do today, even though it's a lot I have on my list. Staying with my breath, whatever I do, staying calm and focused. That's my personal intention. Okay, and then release the hands. Open softly your eyes. With the inhalation, stretch the arms long, long, long towards the sky, palms together, exhale through the mouth out. Hands in front of the heart, two more times. Inhale, new fresh energy in and exhale. Old energy out. One more. And exhale. Very good. Release your hands. And stay now with your deep ujjayi breath. This fine sea breeze breathing. Deepen your breath, make your breath soundful and let your breath be the most important thing the whole yoga practice through. And even though you open your eyes and gaze towards the screen, try to keep an inner eye, this connection with your internal you, I like to call that internal you. All right. Stay with your breath and let your head slowly sink to your left shoulder, circling the head carefully over the front, dropping the head down. Circling the head all the way over to the other side. Keeping the breath fluently. Just circle the head a few times from side to side. Please be careful with your neck. If you have neck issues, be especially careful. And opening here, little tensions from sleeping maybe a too high pillow, maybe sleeping too long on one side of the body, mm. making some sounds of comfort. Mm. One more time. Awesome, you guys. And then come up, uh, interlace the fingers behind your head, open the chest, and then round your back and pull your head gently down, stretching the neck. Mm. Stretching the neck. Inhale, lift the chest, stretch arms up. And exhaling, pull the shoulders back, open the chest, slide back, bend here. Mm. And then interlace the fingers behind your back. Open the chest. Open, open, open. Sit on the side. Stay like this. So you can watch better. Mm. Open. Imagine somebody's pulling you back on the hands. Mm. Slightly twist to one side. Twist to the other side. Come back to center, release hands. Inhale, open the chest. 
exhaling round. Mm. Inhale, open and exhale round. Moving that breath. Inhale, roll through this back, open chest wide. Exhale, round the spine, pull navel in. For the next inhalation, stay on the front and begin to circle. Sufi circles, one of my favorites. My boyfriend always makes fun of me <clears throat> because in each class is a Sufi circle. It's really just like that because it's really one of my favorites, you know, opening up the body, really <clears throat> circling the spine, feels really good. You can stay with your eyes closed, mm, moving the breath and really circle here a few times, oh, opening up, start to circle the other way around, let the circles become bigger. Mm. Circling, open up the body. Nice. And then come back to center. And bring the right hand next to you. Side stretch. Open left arm and stretch over all the way to the other side. Make sure you don't hang here and your shoulders are not like that. So really pull out long upper body. Imagine a long line from your outer left hip drawing all the way into your fingertips. Press with the hand into the left thigh. Don't make sure your hand is not too close so it's not looking not like that, but a little bit far away from your hips. Spreading fingers wide. Deep breath into your left side. Hmm. Open up, buddy. Twistle open. <sighs> Stretching over. And inhale, come back. Other side. Push with left hand into the floor and lean over with the right arm over your head. Again, make sure you don't fall in long upper body, shoulders away from the ears. Hmm. Relax, face muscles. Stay with your breath. So whatever you do, make sure you always keep on breathing deeply. Mm. Open body twist, upper body open to the sky. Yes, and slowly come back to center. Beautiful, you guys. Roll all the way over into all fours, please. Bring block and cushion away into all fours. Make sure fingers spread wide, directly on the shoulder blades, knees hip wide apart, toes on the floor. Couple of rounds, cat cow. Inhale, open chest, exhale, round spine. Inhale, open, and exhale, round. Inhale, open, roll shoulders back, arch your back, and exhale, round the spine, pull navel in. Round, round, round. Stay around it, and just shift the weight to your heels, and to the front. It must feel really good in the space between your shoulder blades. A few times, front and back. Just for the round back. Feels really good. Okay, come back to center. Now, little challenge. Put the hands all the way the other way around so the fingertips pointing towards your knees to stretch your wrists. Slowly bring the weight back to your bum, opening the hands and slightly forward. Inhaling, exhaling, stretch wrists, bring the weight back. Inhaling front and exhaling. Let's do two more times. So we use our wrists like a lot or hands the whole day carrying things, 
grabbing things, doing things, cooking, working, typing. So it's really good for the hands to go and love and stretching here. Hmm. Come back now. Come all the way <clears throat> onto the, the back of the hands. So now the inside of the hands showing towards you. You're, you're now on your wrist. Can be a little bit hard. Bend your elbows, please. And exhale and stretch. Inhale, bend. And exhale, stretch. Really good stretch for the wrist. Inhale, bend. And exhale, stretch. Very good, you guys. Turn the palms around again. And flip the palms, <coughs> the, the toes under. And come into a high plank. Lift the knees, make your whole body strong, make sure your fingers are spread wide and please don't show a mountain pose here, no downward facing dog and no banana shape. Make sure your core is nice and tight and soften the area here, it doesn't look like that, between your shoulder blades. Push with the heels a little bit back, you can also rock a little bit front and back to find the shape. Everything is engaged, so good morning. <laughs> it's a full body workout in a plank, yeah? Deep breath, push out of your shoulder joints. Don't hang in here. Everything is engaged, legs are engaged, bum is engaged, core is engaged, arms are engaged, hands are engaged, everything. Deep breath, don't panic, breathe. Very good, exhale, into downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. First challenge of the day, done. Walk your feet on the spot. Lift one heel and the other heel. Deep breath. You're always welcome also to exhale through the mouth out. The sound of that helps, especially when you're a yoga beginner and you're not familiar with this ujjayi breath. <sighs> always exhaling through the mouth. But I actually also like to do it, even though I do yoga now for many years. So stay now still in your down facing dog. <clears throat> Lift your heels, come up onto your toes. Mm. And bend knees and stretch your back. Push with the hands into the floor. Fingers spread wide. <clears throat> Push the thumb knuckle and the index finger knuckle, middle finger knuckle into the floor. Push, push, push. Length on the back. Head is relaxed. Mm. Let the soul sink down. Two more breaths. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So you heard that Sanskrit word. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. Slowly roll forward. Weight into the hands. Attention, exhaling, back down, facing dog. Very good. Let's do that two more times. You can do it. Inhale, roll back, plank pose. Hold and exhale back. One more. And back. Very good. One more. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, slightly bring the knees all the way down to the mat. Bend your elbows deeply and come all the way down, belly on the floor. Yeah. All right. Do a couple of rounds, a dynamic little baby cobra. So spread fingers wide, hands next to your chest. Push all head and toes into the floor, pubic bone into the floor. Rotate shoulders in and back, elbows squeezed in. And then with the next inhalation, lift up baby cobra, long neck. So make sure you don't throw your heart back. So otherwise you squeeze here those little neck muscles. We don't want that, of course, so gaze down. And exhale, imagine you lift and stretch the spine into each direction, lengthening spine forward on the floor. A few more times. Inhale, lift chest, exhale, come forward, stretch the spine. Inhale, lift 
Exhale, extend spine forward on the floor. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come forward. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. Now stay lifted. Push all ten toes into the floor. Lift hands up. Yay! So now you feel if you use the right muscles. So back muscles. Really important. Inhale, lift a little higher. Interlace fingers over your butt. Roll shoulders back. And again, pull with the fists back. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Don't panic. Deep breath. Lift a little higher. And exhale, release hands. Make a little cushion out of your hands. Place the hands, the forehead on the hands, and shake your hips. Deep breath. <sighs> One more inhale, exhale, sigh out. <sighs> awesome, you guys. Hmm. All right. Bring your forearms now on the floor, fingers spread wide. Make sure your elbows directly under your shoulder. And for swings pose, you just stay here for a moment. So really push with the hands into the floor. Push, push, push. Open chest, don't hang inside here. Roll shoulders back and just stay here in this little back bend. Swings pose. Hmm. Feels good, huh? Back bends in the morning. Very good to open the body to bring more energy, more life force called prana and yoga into the body. <sighs> All right, from here. Please engage core, lift up the hips, bring the knees a little bit closer in, mat wide apart, toes pointing in, and then sit back, walk with the hands a little bit more forward for Anahata Asana, heart opening asana, and melt with the heart towards the floor. Also back bend. So just the forearms are on the floor. You can also lift the arms, just as you like. And we stay here for a couple of minutes. So please, if you want to go further, give a little shoulder stretch, bring hands together and bring the hands behind your head. Otherwise, stay with forearms on the floor. Gives a nice little extra stretch, stretch in the shoulders. Deep breath. Hmm. Okay, slowly release hands, bring hands down, lift up hands, bring knees in again, flip toes under, come back into downward facing dog. Walk the feet out one more time, stretching back side of the heels, legs, mm. shaking head, no tension here. Mm. Then walk with the hands all the way back to your feet, so the other way around. Bend your knees, bring your feet hip wide apart, grab opposite elbow and hang your for a moment. Hang deeply. Hmm. Bend your knees to protect the lower back, very important, and just rock from side to side if that feels good for you. <sighs> Bring the weight more into your toes, let gravity pull you down. Mm. Let go of the elbows and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. Head comes less. Bring yourself all the way back up to standing. Ooh. Awesome, you guys. Stand nice and tall into Dasana. Feet 
hip wide apart. Inhale, roll shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, big circle back. Inhale, roll shoulders up. Exhaling back. One more time. Inhale, roll shoulders up. Exhale back. With the inhalation, bring arms up. Hold on to your right wrist and then stretch over to the left side. Stretching right side of the body. Mm. Deep breath. Inhale, come up, other side, hold on to left wrist, stretch over to right side, push with the feet into the floor. Long upper body. Inhale, back to center, drop arms down. Half sun salutation. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, bend knees all the way down. Inhale, add Uttanasana, long spine, long neck. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold in. Then your knees roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms follow two more times. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, bend knees, fold in. Inhale, add Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold, fold over the legs. Inhale, bend knees, roll up. Arms follow. Exhale, one more time down. Inhale, add Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Then walk with the hands all the way to the front, back to downward facing dog. Deep Ujjayi breath. Then lift up right leg behind you as high as you can. Open, open the hips. Allow the sole of the foot to fall over to the left cheek. And circle your foot a few times. Mm, opening up. Maybe you look under your right arm towards the ceiling. And then open leg again. And turn now the hips inward. So that both of the hip bones... Pointing towards the floor. So not that, not open hips, but closed hips. So it's called squared hips. Okay, square the hips. Push with the heel back. And then bring the foot all the way towards the front between your hands. Maybe grab your foot if he doesn't want the way you like. And slide it forward. <clears throat> Lift up spine. Rock a little bit front and back here in your runner's lunge. And then bring the knee all the way to the floor. Left knee to the floor. Maybe flip the mat over so you can protect the back knee. Bring all toes to the floor. And then slowly lift up. Push with the foot into the floor. Make sure your knee is in a 90 degrees angle over your heel. And not don't collapse into that pose. This is not very beneficial. But tuck the tailbone under. Pubic bone lifts up, engage core a little bit, pull right hip back, left hip to the front. So not this, other way around. And with this engagement, slowly, gently sinking down. Not too deep, just as deep as you can hold it from the inner engagement of the inner thighs, working right hip back, left hip front. <sighs> Got it. Getting sweaty, you two. And lift up arms, open the chest. Maybe gaze a little bit up. Low lunge. Push, push with a big toe into the floor. Yes. And let arms sink down, interlace fingers, open chest. Back bend here. Slowly let go of fingers. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, arms down. And now, folding over the front leg, pulling toes towards you. Maybe you have to bring the foot a little closer in 
stretching front leg. For most of us, the back side of the leg called hamstrings, the hamstrings muscle here and the upper thigh, but also the calves, pretty tight, yeah. From sitting so much on the computer, so this area tightens and gets short. So this is why this is, for the most of us, really hot. So don't worry if that feels pretty sensational. Deep breath. Hmm. All right, slowly bring the weight forward again. Push both hands into the floor, flip mat, mat under, step back downward facing dog. Hmm. Deep breath. Other side. Step left leg to the front. Help the foot if he doesn't want to. Come onto your fingertips along spine. Rock a little bit front and back, run his lunge. Stay with your breath, you guys. And then fold mat over and again let the other knee, the right knee, sink towards the floor and push with the back foot down and lift yourself up. Yes. Take a moment to align yourself. Tailbone down, pubic bone up, pull left hip back, right hip to the front. Maybe you have to step a little bit in. Woohoo! Gets wobbly. So really push the big toe into the floor if you feel like woohoo! Like this, push big toe in. Make sure the inner edge of the foot pushes in, into the floor. Lift at the back, roll through his back, and sink down. Control, don't flop down. And then lift up arms and pull. So it's a little outer rotation of the upper arms. Yeah, so not like that, but rotate open. And then interlace fingers again behind your back, roll shoulders back, open chest. Back bend, deep breath into your chest. Very good. Slowly release hands, bring hands down next to your front foot and again straighten front leg, maybe walk with the hands a little bit back, stretching the back side of your front leg. Slowly bring weight forward again. Let the mat flip back again. Step back, downward facing dog. Two deep breath here. Bring knees towards the floor, knees wide, and sit back into child's pose. Well done. Maybe you swim the arms back, bringing the hands next to your knees. Wide seated child's pose, take rest. Relax your stomach, your organs, your shoulders. Relax face muscles, let the hips sink deep towards your heels. And slowly. Lift yourself up, roll yourself up, bring knees together, <clears throat> sit on your heels or if that is not possible in a cross leg position. Inhale, roll shoulders up to the ears, exhale, circle back. Inhale, roll shoulders up, exhale, circle back. One more. And circle back. So we close now here <clears throat> our little gentle morning flow. If you like to take a Shavasana after that, you're totally welcome to do that. 
take a little rest or forward fold. Otherwise, bring the hands in front of the heart, tuck the chin in, bow in towards yourself. Thanking yourself for your efforts this morning, stepping onto your yoga mat, making some time for your practice. Come back to your intention of the beginning and check in, how do you feel now? Maybe a little bit more open up, ready for the day to come. So give yourself a little internal smile, maybe also a little external. And I say Namaste yogis. Thank you so much for yogaing, yogin with me this morning, practicing with me this morning over YouTube. And yeah, I wish you a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed wonderful yoga. Please uh, keep in touch, leave me some comments if you like that. If you have some feedback, some wishes, please let me know. See you soon. Namaste.